so now I'm checking this uh, two microfarad, two percent precision capacitor, and I looked online. Looks like I might have a problem getting this thing, and I'm not sure whether I'm going to replace it. Anyways, I hooked up my capacitor checker here, which is rated at uh, I think it's two point five percent, and it shows me that the actual capacitance of this capacitor is 2.05 microfarads so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it in there go ahead and leave it in there now I'm checking now the 0.02 microfarad capacitor which is 20 nanofarads and according to my capacitor checker here um, it's basically right on the money of course the supposedly the, the tolerance of this unit this capacitor checker is 2.5 percent so again everything is a little uh, ballparkish here but I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave this capacitor in there now I'm checking the capacitors up at the iTube circuit and this is the 0.5 microfarad capacitor rated at 200 volts and it's showing 0.524 of course this test says nothing about the actual leakage of the capacitor so since this is I think subjected to somewhat higher voltage I might go ahead and replace this and there's another one back here I think it's a 0.1 microfarad then I had may as well do that too while I'm at it so just as an example I'm in the process of um, measuring resistors and I already found a, found a bunch that are out of uh, tolerance here this is for example this is supposed to be like a 47k resistor and let me get a good better contact and it's showing 55k 55.7k or 55,700 ohms so this is a 10% resistor that's in there and it's like way out of tolerance oh well, I'm not even going to bother checking these here I'm just going to go ahead and uh, replace them now I'm going to be checking out the voltages used for the capacitor leakage test these are DC voltages and right now I'm on a 3 volt scale it's a little bit low of course behind here is a bunch of resistors basically voltage dropping resistors and all those that are like way out of whack I'm gonna go ahead and change those say if they're like 10% or so this is supposed to be 3 and this is supposed to be 5 5.2 and this is supposed to be 10 it's 9 probably going to end up changing that out and this is supposed to be 15 it's 13 about 13 and a half 25 it's 22 about 22 and a half let's go up to 100 volts it's 96 200 196 300 it's 297 basically I could leave that as it is 400 it is 401 402 let's go all the way up to I think it's 600 and that would be 611 volts so I think a couple of them I'm going to go ahead and change them out and then see what difference it makes now right here there's a 47k resistor which I just unsoldered and you can see it's reading 58k it's reading basically about 10,000 ohms too much so this is way out of spec since I think this this 47k resistor is supposed to have a 10% tolerance which you can see here by the I believe it's a silver band 
Okay, here's the other side of that voltage uh, selector switch, and all I'm going to do is go on this side, for example, and then see which ones are out of tolerance. There's, I don't think there's nothing in parallel with these, so I can just measure these directly. And okay, I must not be on there right. This is I think 4.7k. And it's 5.2k and I think the one underneath there that's should be 10k and it's 12.2k and these are 10% resistors I'd, I'd kind of like to have them a little bit closer I'm not, I don't think it makes that much difference in the end you know as far as me using this unit here which I'm probably not going to be using very much anyways so I'm just going to go ahead and go all the way around and then swap out what I think needs to be swapped out if it's in this case more than 10% out of tolerance. So in case you're wondering did changing out these voltage dropping resistors used for the leakage the DC leakage test did that make a difference and you can see now I'm on the 3 volt scale or, or rather the 3 volt range and I'm reading three volts and now let me go to the six volt position I'm reading six volts ten volt position I'm reading ten volts let me go ahead and take it up to 50 at 50 I'm reading 48 and a half about let me go up to 150 I'm reading 146 200 I'm reading 201 I'll go up to say 350. I'm reading 354, and then 450. I'm reading around 450. 600. I'm reading 606. Well, that's not dropped. That's directly. Uh, I think it's directly coming into the circuit. I think the first drop is right here, and that's supposed to be a 500 volts. And you can see I'm reading. Well, I'm reading about 500 volts. So yeah, it did make a difference and um, I had initially changed some and then I ended up changing, I'd say almost all of them out and this is the result that I got.